I'm here to tell you guys exactly what happened on June 6th, Floyd Mayweather versus Logan Paul, the expedition match, eight rounds of boxing. So first Logan Paul comes in, you know, start of the fight, whatever. And then Floyd comes in after Logan's finished and he comes in, you know, he has an OnlyFans hat on, you know, he's coming in, the champ, you know. Yeah, so the fight starts. Once the fight starts, you know, they get into it, you know, Logan's hyped, you know, Floyd's hyped. They're ready to have fun. They're ready to make some money. And keep in mind that uh, I was at this fight too. I was sitting uh, right at the uh, front uh, front stage. Uh. But then yeah, fight starts, you know, they start off a little slow. Uh, but yeah, first round, you know, usual round, just a uh, little touching gloves and stuff. But yeah, second round. I'm not really sure what round this happened at, but then Logan just started going crazy. He was like, just going crazy, you know? He like started throwing punches left and right. He was like, <sighs> of course Floyd, he was just blocking, you know, blocking all the shots. So obviously those shots didn't count. In order to get a clean shot, you gotta, you gotta do that. But yeah, but when he did that, uh, it was kind of over for him because then all his stamina went from right here to all the way down there. Yeah, he was pretty much tired the rest of the fight. So then, so then what happened? All right, let me tell you guys what, let me tell you guys the most juiciest part of this. Actually, no, this is not the most juiciest part. I'll get to the most juiciest part later in this video. But then as Logan Paul got tired throwing all those haymakers left and right, just Floyd blocking all of them, he's just missing all of them, none of them counted, so then he's just using up, you know, all his energy. So then next round, you know, Floyd starts getting a bunch of hits on him and stuff, you know. He's dodging all of his punches. Uh, he barely hit any punches. I'm pretty sure he hit like one body shot or something. Logan, Logan. He just kept like hugging, you know. It turned into a little cuddling match. Oh. The next round after that, you know, still a bunch of hugs, you know. Floyd still gets some hits. Uh, Logan gets some hits too, you know. Gets a little bit of hits. And so like, I was just sitting there, right? I was still just like in the crowd. I'm just like watching this, I'm just like. And as I'm watching, I'm like, I'm really getting frustrated of this, oh, of this, of this hugging stuff, man. Oh my God, like, it's so annoying. So then I went to the locker rooms, right? I brought my own gloves. I brought my own shorts, my boxing shorts. And I got in the dressing room and you know what I had to do? I put on my gloves. I put on my shorts. I take off my shirt. I start training up a little bit because you know, your boy is rusty. You know, I've been in a boxing game for a while. You know, I'm only like 2000 and 0. Not that big of a deal. I got up there, I was training up, next round starts. And then out of nowhere, this is the juiciest part. This is the juiciest part I was waiting for. All right, I came in and then everyone was so confused because they're like, oh my God, what? I came out of retirement. And keep in mind guys, I'm like 109 years old. Then I come in, oh my God, when I tell you guys, when I came in, everyone got so scared because they know who I am. They know I don't play around in the ring. After that, I guess Floyd and Logan wanted to team on me because they both don't like me. They know I'm the greatest. They want to take me down, all right? And they try to gang up on me. They start throwing punches, you know, Floyd's just waiting there. He's like, but I know, I know how to fight them. I fought 300 people at once before in boxing. I know what I'm doing. So then they start throwing their punches, right? They're throwing their punches like, ooh, ooh, ooh. And I'm just like, ooh, ooh, ooh. And I dodge all of their punches. They didn't hit me once. Maybe Floyd got, he almost got close, but he's so bad, like he can't hit me. So then I got tired of it. You know, I'm just sitting there just blocking this entire time. I got bored. So then I threw a punch, knocked out Logan Paul. He's out cold. He won't get back up to the next 40 minutes. And Floyd, he's so easy. Like, I've been watching his fights. He's way too easy to beat. I know all his moves. I know all his skills. I know him so well. 
Actually, before I guys tell you, let me show you guys how it was. I was like, I was like, oof, oof, ow. I like jumped up like this, and I was like, and I was like, ow, ow, ow. And I looked him in his eyes, I was oh like, oh my God, bro. Oh, oh hell no, man. And then he was like, Okay guys, that was obviously just a little joke, but seriously though, there are so many things that I want to do in my life. Like, it's so crazy what goes on in my head. I'm just like, I want to do this, I want to do that when I'm like older and stuff. Like I want to be an entertainer, I want to be a boxer, I want to be a YouTuber, I want to do this, I want to do real estate wholesaling, I want to do that, I want to do this. Like there's so many things that go through my mind every single day. And just know that whatever you want to do, you can do it. Just put in that hard work, dedication, and you just need a little bit of luck, which I do not have. I absolutely have 0% luck. If luck was on a scale of 1, of 0 to 100%, I would be at 0%. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And you guys want to check out my other videos because they are very fun. You guys don't want to miss them out. And yeah, it's been Jaden, and I'm out. Peace. Never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl